Hi, I am Mustafa. Over the past few weeks, I've been working on my project Bacteria Alert, a swimmer's guide to clean shores. Coastal tourism is important for Florida's economy. For example, in 2017, Florida received more than 100 million tourists, and uh, they spent $90 billion within Florida, which generated 10% of Florida's GDP. However, bacterial beach water pollution is a widespread problem in Florida, which affects local businesses. Every year, an average of 674 no swimming advisories are issued in Florida due to high bacteria levels in beach waters. Uh, for coastal tourism, pollution costs a lot. For example, a day of beach closure can affect local businesses as high as $50,000. And also, it's estimated that swimming in polluted water uh, can can cause 3.5 million stomach flu cases within the US. Therefore, I decided to create an app which predicts bacterial beach water pollution within one week in Florida. Now, my data for this project came from Florida Health Department, Florida Climate Center, and Florida Demographic Center. And I basically combined climate data, beach water test data, and census data. And then I cleaned and merge the data using NumPy, Pandas, and Seabone. And finally, I got my clean data set with 100,000 test results for 130 Florida beaches. Now, for this project, I have 11 features, and they are beach, day of year, nearby population, uh, and, and other climatic uh, features that might affect uh, bacteria level in the beach waters. And uh, corresponding to features, the outcome is the bacteria level, with, which can change from zero to 1,000. And finally, based on the bacteria level, I labeled each test either polluted or clean. So after this labeling, the problem turned into a binary classification problem. Now, when we look at the data, we see that pollution is more frequent over the summer months. And I believe this is due to high temperature, and high population during the summer months in Florida. Also, when we look at beaches, we see that um, pollution level really depend on the beach. For example, here you see the density um, plot for bacteria level of four beaches. And the, the, this beach is a most clean beach uh, because bacteria level is nearby zero where this beach you see here is a highly polluted beach because bacteria level is like is dense on higher side. So the challenge uh, for this project was that um, the, the data was imbalanced. Basically 8% of observations are polluted and 92% are unpolluted. To overcome the imbalance in, in the data, after the 80 to 20 train test split, I applied small technique, which basically generates new examples of um, uh, minority class to balance two classes in the training set. And then I applied random forest algorithm to my training set, and using the hyperparameter tuning, I improved the model performance. Um, now, for this project, I'm aiming at high recall and high precision. I mean, this is what you always aim at for, a pro for any project, but especially here, I'm aiming for high recall because for public health, I need to uh, capture all those pollutions. On the other hand, I need high precision because low precision would mean too many false pollutions, and this would affect local businesses. Therefore, Looking at high precision and high recall, I decided to use F1 score as my evaluation metric. My baseline, on the other hand, is uh, basically created by demo classifier by randomly guessing pollution 50% of the time. Now, uh, my model outperformed the baseline, and you can see the scores here. Basically, I almost tripled the F1 score um, uh, for, like, for this problem. Now, the outcome is an app that I created using Streamlit and Heroku, and I would like to show it to you. So, here in the app, I ask user to...
So I believe um, this is not working because we are in Zoom. But uh, so this might still give an idea. So here I choose a county and a corresponding beach. And then corresponding to that, I have um, predictions for next seven days, basically. So going back to my presentation, I expect this app, um, this app help uh, the state of Florida uh, foresee 2,000 pollutions every year, which potentially could save as high as $100 million to local businesses and could prevent thousands of stomach flu cases. Thank you for listening to my uh, presentation. My name is Mustafa Cengiz and I am a PhD candidate at Boston College Mathematics Department and recently I am a fellow at Insight. And what you see here is a picture from my research and this picture is basically a, an abstract model of our three-dimensional world. And I spent most of my time thinking about abstract objects such as this, which helped me uh, gain lots of mathematical and uh, problem-solving skills. And I'm really excited to uh, use my skills at a data science position. Thanks.